want you to know, an extreme online store is the goat for creating stuff like this. It doesn't need to be some crazy high price. They could charge much more, 250 for these winglets. They're installed now. Just watch until the end of the video. We're gonna get some shots with the drone outside of the car. And I'm gonna run you through the install. I don't wanna give a lot of bullshit beforehand just cause that can piss some people off. So I'm trying to cater to you. Just trying to cater to you and do this for you. So if you could just give this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you want these videos for future reference, subscribe down below. If not, clear your cookies. You'll never see me again in your YouTube search algorithm. With that said, You saw the unboxing, if not, go watch that first, that way you can get to it. But we've got the EOS ZR1 front splitter winglets in here that we've unboxed already. And I'm going to start with the right side of the vehicle, passenger side. Pretty simple, it's about six different pieces hardware that you're gonna pull off. And these I think are a four on the Allen. T15 on the Torx, start the car, turn the wheel. That way we have space in there. And if you haven't seen this stuff yet, carry along because we've got everything from EOS. Except I, I like the stage one side skirts. Not everybody may agree, but honestly, I just think they look better. So I went with them. This is a 3LZ Z06. You'll see that's manual. It's got the jet gray interior, white contrast stitching, suede, Arctic white exterior. This is one of my daily drivers. I love this thing. Nice little cold stuff. But we are sadly gonna shut her back off, but I gotta turn this wheel anyway. Started back up again. I had to turn the wheel anyway, like I said. Just to give you a quick look of it. You can see the hardware exposed on here, although I really do like these. This, you don't see anything exposed because it bolts on there. It almost looks like it rides on it, and then you clip them into the back. You got three here, three there. Just so you see what we're working with, I have one left up there, and that's all you have to pull out to get them out. This is gonna be a really quick install, uh, just cause it's, there's not much to it. The wing video I did, if you watched that, was about 30 minutes long. Pull this out. There is some additional hardware that came with this. Let's see if we use those. Let's see if this is reusable. Oh, you know what? Damn. These front splitter bumper guards on this car. Forgot about those. Slip low. You can just rip those off. 
Did they even do much? Let's see if they even did too much. I mean, I don't know if you can see this here, but the texture from the slip low front bumper guards, I know this isn't part of the install, but might be beneficial for you to see. That's got some scoring on it. It's definitely been hit quite a few times. <laughs> I try to be pretty cautious with this, but you know, what are you gonna do? Sometimes it just doesn't work out. So here's what they give us with the new piece of washer and these bolts. But these are corroded. They've been holding up pretty well, and they're longer. So I may be able to just tuck this in there, although the goal with this is to get these cinched in like that. Exactly like that. Just like that. Whereas this one, yeah, it does the same thing. Goes all the way. So what we might do is use the OG hardware. Just makes it easier if we have it. Since we have it. Why not? back one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in with the drill. Might just have to finger tighten that, as you can see, if you can see me doing that. But it's getting there. I just want to back it in as much as I can until I have to. That right there, I'm just going to tighten those other three, but before I do that, I want to get these, the T15 Torxes, back in place, just so this is lined up correctly. Steve, maybe I can give you an idea of what that's like. That right there, I'm just gonna tighten those other three. I know I said I wasn't gonna film that, but I figured I'd just... I didn't give you like a full detail of what this looks like. I mean, I've showed you in other videos, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I figure you can get it this way. All right. Just be gentle with this. Got some track scars from here. That's on there. Now we can tighten these down. I just wanted to make sure everything was good. We've got her on. She's all tucked in 
nice. This bolts in up top through right there. That cuffs around nicely. This is the old one. It, it seems so neutered now that that's on, but what we can do is I'll give you a little look, and I gotta turn the wheel anyway, but a look at what this looks like versus the front. 2.5, or this is a 2.5 or the 3.0, I forget, but the front splitter, they call it the front splitter conversion. It's been holding up really well. Yeah, dude, that looks sweet. And I like how it just kind of cuffs in and grabs on it. It's close to the OEM, except the OEM actually doesn't have a hole back there and rocks get caught in there. But that's got a hole, so rocks will just, they might bounce around and shuttle in. That's the only thing that I was like, not in love with with the idea of this was rocks, but that almost doesn't even look complete now that this is on the front. <laughs> it looks sick. All right, we'll do this side. I'm not gonna film it. It flows well with the side skirts too and then up to the wing. I mean, some people like the stage three stuff and I'm probably a weirdo for being the only person that has that, but I just think that, that uptick, that little carve out right there, that curve, really helps add to the aggressiveness and accents of the car. Almost like, you know how the SV, Aventador SV, not to compare these, but the SV goes up and down. And that's just how they have it in their design go straight for it. Took about, on well, the camera it says eight minutes, but I had to set the camera up and all that stuff and whatever. But um, let's start this, even though this is my parking garage, other people live here too. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up real quick and then straighten these wheels out. I really like the fitment and how this goes. So obviously I'm a little dirty. So as you can see, we've got her right here. Accents the front end a lot just because it gives more of that flaring effect off and I do like how that looks. Part of me kind of wishes that they drilled in and connected just like the other ones did. I mean they do, but this just kind of rides up top. It's pinched, but I wonder if the arrow, just you know, the downforce will change anything. The finish is good, same exact carbon flash that we have, the other stuff. Looks really nice. I'm really dusty. Yeah, so I think the only thing next would be have some fun with this, get some drone shots. The front end looks, it looks a lot different now. Very, very good. I'm a big fan. Let me know what, what you think down below. I think the Tacoma literally gets mad at me when I don't drive it on days there's poor weather. We're about to go get drone shots with this thing. I love this thing, I've crashed it twice already, technically. Let this thing warm up and then my head to the airfield. I don't know if we'll be allowed to do that, but regardless, I will give you all what you want. The all seasons are squeaky. All right, we're going straight to the roof. Uh, let's see, do not enter. Get that the my way. That's a do not enter. What you, what you doing? What you doing? Yep, okay. All right, so change of plans. I don't know if I said where, did I say where we were gonna go no. in the last clip? Nope. Okay, well then not change of plans, but I figured we'd just go on top of the casino because we're up in the air anyway. It'd be cool to get some drone shots around this. You're just, oh God! Your fucking drone went flying. I'm so sorry. All right. The the drone was a little low on battery, and we're in like a no fly zone. I'm still getting used to it. So I got some shots because the gimbal works, but I got a apparent. I was charging all day, and apparently it didn't charge at all. Therefore, I don't want to make this a wasted effort. So. 
figure what better way to show you these pieces than to give you Oh my god, I love the smell of a Ruber. Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. Here you go. <laughs> All right. See, that smoke wasn't coming from us, it was coming from that. And just to take it at the box. Thank you. I just need to assess the damage and make sure they're good. Nothing is broken. Hasta la vista, baby. Do you know what movie that's from? Do you know what movie that's from, Liesl? You don't know what movie that's from? Yo, come back here with my box. Come back here with my box.